Hello everybody, welcome to another two minute video on structure and form in poetry. Do check out the longer detailed analysis of each poem in my AQA Power and Conflict playlist. But in this video I'm just going to quickly whiz through some major points on structure and form because those are the points you guys are asking for and here we go. Looking at the poem London, now in terms of form, some people call this a dramatic monologue, but I don't see it myself. Put a comment in the comment section if you think it is, but I don't see that the speaker in the poem is speaking to anybody. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about structure. And the, the poet uses repetition. There's repetition of the word chartered. Between 1760 and 1820, six million acres of the land of England was taken into private ownership. And the first usage of chartered could refer to the fact that the properties around the speaker were privately owned. But the repetition of the word is more ironic. The chartered Thames does flow. And here we can see the forcing of human power and control onto something natural, a river. So there is, as we've seen in lots of poems in this cluster, a juxtaposition of the power of nature and the power of man. Man seeks to charter and control and organise everything, even something as uncontrollable and natural as the River Thames. There's also the repetition of mark, and mark in every face I meet, marks of weakness, marks of woe. And here we see different meanings of the word mark. The first example in mark every face means notice, and then we move on to marks of weakness, meaning signs. So the same word is used, but with a different meaning, reminiscent of Ted Hughes's bayonet charge, which opens with repetition of raw, I think that the repetition highlights the inescapable repetitive suffering of those in the poem. So have a look through the poem, see what you think, see if you can identify how it could be a dramatic monologue. I don't think there's anything specific about form, but in structure I would analyse the repetition we see throughout the poem.